Introduction In this video, I'll give my initial impression of the sleeping duck in destruct bed, using some of the official images and photos of my own bed. Bed design Before going into the design, I would like to briefly mention why I decided to purchase this bed. My current bed was purchased in year 2008, which is more than 10 years ago. Both the bed frame and the mattress. Yep, it is over the recommended change period of 8 to 10 years for an average bed. However, I did purchase a decent quality bed in the beginning, which aligns with my position of buying quality, as it will generally cost less in the long run. And gives you a better experience in the process. My mattress is also full latex, which has a longer usable lifetime. What triggered this change was actually the mattress, as it appears to be sacking in recent years, even after rotating it on a regular basis. What I then realized was that the bed base slats were actually the cause as they lost its tension. During my research into Sleeping Duck's award-winning mattress, its warranty terms explicitly calls out that the bed base needs to be in a certain condition to honor its mattress warranty. This is when I found out about this new bed base, and after some research, I believe that this is probably the best, in terms of its engineering design and build for the price. I do believe it will last you a lifetime and more. I'll cover this a bit more in the build section. Some of the key design highlights are 1. Double spine to better distribute the weight, compared to the single spine on my existing base. It will surely help with distributing the weight more evenly. 2. The almost solid flat surface rather than slats, again designed to more evenly distribute your body weight. It does have holes of different sizes to both, allow better airflow and reduce weight. There are several options for the bed, with various bed head designs and color options. My intent is to keep using my existing bed frame and just replace the base support structure from this bed. A challenge I had was to determine if it will actually fit, as obviously they were not designed to be compatible. I did email Sleeping Duck support, but was unfortunately not able to get a direct answer, just a reference to the website details. This was the external dimensions which would not be able to fit. I guess I took a gamble, as based on my assumptions and deductions of the external dimensions, I believed it will be fine, and luckily it was. Now, for your benefit, I've listed the internal dimensions here and also in the descriptions, hopefully it may also be beneficial to you. Order and delivery. The order for the bed was placed in late November. It was on pre-order and due for delivery end of December. It did arrive as scheduled, and at time of making this video, it is again on pre-order for delivery by end of the current month. Stock availability is likely to change over time. The overall process was smooth. I was asked via email to select a delivery date and time, and the delivery person came within the delivery window. Build quality. Upon taking the delivery, I could already tell by the weight of the items, that, it will be as described. It came in total four boxes, which was handy as I only needed to open the boxes for the parts one was planning to install, and kept the rest in the box for storage. Once taken the components out, and looking it close up, I can confirm the quality is top-notch, and will live up to the claims. I do have to warn some of you that, the pieces are not lightweight, so definitely move them in individual parts to avoid harming injuries. All that is needed to assemble the bed were included, with a very nice Allen key wrench that you don't normally see. The instruction guide was easy to understand, and drawn clearly to scale. I would rate it about the same to an IKEA instruction guide. I followed the guide, and the bed base frame was assembled in less than an hour. I did take my time to install it properly, and whilst admiring the engineering. The steel frame is powder coated, and cutouts are made to reduce the weight while still maintaining the structural rigidity. The wooden panels are made from a 13 layer plywood construction, very rigid, and no flex. They do have holes to allow air circulation. The surface is very smooth to avoid potentially damaging the mattress. No defects were found on any parts. 
After placing back my old mattress, I could immediately see a difference, that the sagging was almost gone. Final thoughts. The bed definitely lived up to my expectations, and it changed the sleep quality with our existing mattress. I have now put on hold the purchase of the sleeping duck mattress for the short term, as the improvement was quite noticeable and we both did experience an improvement in our sleep. So, I would definitely recommend anyone thinking about changing the mattress, to also look at if their bed base is actually the issue, or contributing to the problem. This should be resolved rather than just changing the mattress. Because as I mentioned at the start, that your new mattress performance, or even the warranty, could be impacted due to a bed base that is in poor state. Thank you for your time, I hope this video have helped you in some way. A like and a subscribe will help me to create future contents. Good day.